Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Today we are putting the foam on the foundation just right around any of the areas that need to be backfilled to get it ready for uh, my contractors to put the perimeter drain around. The perimeter drain keeps uh, the, the footing from getting wet. If it rains, uh, it's a perforated pipe that will collect water that's down near the foundation bottom and run it out to, all, you know, out to the corner there. There's another drain pipe that goes out to daylight. Before they can put in the drains and before they can backfill it and everything, though, I want to get all the foam in. So that's what I'm doing today. I've already put a couple pieces up here, and what I'm doing is just running them in front. They're kind of crude on the top. I'm going to trim them later on after everything gets backfilled, but I'm just getting everything kind of propped up. I'm just using these little uh, two by four sections that the uh, the concrete people had left here. These aren't going to be needed again until this is a area is already backfilled, and once it's backfilled, I won't need to have the two by fours, uh, you know, holding it up anymore. The process that I'm doing, um, just come around here. The process that I am uh, using to get the stuff up is we're doing two layers of this uh, pink foam and I'm, oh, I'm, I'm overlapping the joints on them. So uh, I'm going to take this piece and put it right in front of this area where there's a joint here. That's going to give us four inches of insulation all around the, uh, the periphery of the house. I'm only going with one inch, uh, I'm sorry, not one inch, uh, one layer, uh, two inches of foam on the greenhouse area, but because this part of the greenhouse is contiguous with the rest of the house's face, I didn't want it to be four inches in front of the house and then two inches in front of the greenhouse and have it be like stepping down. So I'm just doing four inches here just so it's nice and smooth. I'm going to take spray foam and fill in these joints here and I want to be very, uh, uh, put a very limited amount in here because this stuff expands and I don't want it to be puffing out through the front and then pushing off the, the next layer. So I'm going to collapsing. Right, lean that right there. So I'm going to run just a little bit of spray foam. This is great stuff spray foam. It's very useful. I use this all the time. And I'm just going to run it right up this joint. And again, just a very small amount because it expands a lot. And the idea here is to get a seal there, not necessarily to fill up the entire void, but just to, to fill in that gap so that there's not any, you know, liquid or anything going through that seam. So now I'll set this down. This stuff will oftentimes uh, accumulate at the end and drift, so I make sure that it's over something. I don't mind it dripping on top of. And I'm going to take this panel and put it right in front like that. And then put this guy up and hold it up. So I'm going to continue that along this whole lower area and then once I'm done with that I'll be able to tell the contractors come on in, put in the perimeter drains, get it backfilled and then once this is backfilled they're going to do the higher walls in the back because as you recall we're going to be berming in that back. So we only have about half of the concrete here at the moment. The other half is going to go in once this all gets done. That's it. Thanks for watching.